we're going to be looking at parallel and perpendicular lines. When we're dealing with parallel and perpendicular lines, we're dealing with the slope specifically. Um, with parallel, the slopes are the same. I'm not going to show you an example of that one because that one's pretty self-explanatory. With perpendicular, the slopes are opposite reciprocals. When we talk about opposite, what that means is we're having a sign change. Reciprocals, we are flipping that fraction. So if I have M1 here is negative 2 thirds, the perpendicular slope of line 2, so M2, is going to be a positive 3 over 2. So with that being said, you will be asked to find, you know, an equation of a line, write an equation of a line that is either parallel or perpendicular and goes through a certain point. So let's say that I have y equals negative 2x plus 4, and it needs to go through the point 3 comma 1, and we want it to be parallel. So the first thing I always like to do is I always like to figure out my slopes. Looking at this, my slope is negative 2. My parallel slope, they're the same, so that's going to be a negative 2 as well. I'm going to use point slope form. I think it's the easiest one out of the three. And I am just going to take this m2 and substitute it into my equation into that m spot. The 3, 1 is going to represent x1, y1. And I just substitute those values right into that equation. After my substitution, I'm going to go ahead and distribute it so it's in slope-intercept form. So just distributing that negative 2 to the x and the negative 3. And I get my final equation to be y equals negative 2x plus 7. Now let's look at another example, but this time let's go perpendicular. y equals 2 thirds x minus 6, going through the point 0, 2. And again, I want it perpendicular. So the slope is positive 2 thirds. The perpendicular slope is going to be a negative 3 over 2. Substituting it right into that equation once again. And then distribute it. So I now have y minus 2 equals negative 3 over 2, x minus 0. Distribute that negative 3 halves and then add that 2 over for a final of y equals negative 3 over 2x plus 2. So parallel and perpendicular lines, again, parallel, the slopes are the same, perpendicular, the slopes are opposite reciprocals.